audience attraction. This is the goal that underlies everything I do for my clients because it is the bridge between what you sell as a business and those who buy it. And therefore it is crucial if you want to have the kind of business people can't get enough of. When people can't get enough of your business, they follow you, they share your content, they write about what you're up to, they tell all their friends, and most importantly, they buy what you sell, which is what makes it a business after all. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you want a sexy business too. In my methodology, there are four key areas every business needs to nail for successful audience attraction. They are delight, alignment, resonate, and engage. If a business can do all four of these things well, it just, audience attraction is nailed. In this mini masterclass, I'll be teaching you the basics of step one, which is delight. Delighting a customer comes down to making your business interesting. Delight is the feeling you get when your curiosity is satisfied. As a business, it's important to stand out from the pack by making your business interesting. An interesting business piques the curiosity of its customers and then satisfies that curiosity through what is known as a competitive advantage. So competitive advantage makes a business interesting by having points of difference that its customers are attracted to. Note that I said points plural. Most people think of a competitive advantage as tweaking one thing, but this is not accurate. A good competitive advantage is actually made of differences in multiple key areas, such as business model, product or service offering, value model, charisma, and experience. If you can get all of these things working really well together for you, you are nailing, delighting your customer. I wanted to go through an example of a business that isn't interesting. So before I show you one that's really exciting, I wanted to show you a boring business. This is the crime scene of businesses that are failing to delight. So it blends in with every other business in its category. Like this news agent looks like every single other news agent you've ever been to, right? Um, it's not attracting anyone. You would avoid going here if you didn't have to go. That's a bad, like that's a bad business model. And in my opinion, a boring business like this will end up closing sooner or later because they don't delight and delighting is crucial. So here's an interesting business. This business is called House of Showfields. It's relatively new and its tagline is literally the most interesting store in the world. So it's pretty perfect for what I'm talking to you about. So the first thing I want to go into is its interesting business model. So the House of Showfields is a physical place made up of heaps of rooms and each room is a temporary exhibition advertising a brand. The brands pay for access to the space and also for Showfields to work their magic. Customers pay for products and most likely Showfields also makes a commission here from them as well. It has an interesting offering. So it's a way for customers to experience a brand as though it were a place and for brands to reach their customers in a totally new and very powerful way. It's literally bringing brands to life in interesting, crazy and beautiful experiences whilst also selling products. Combining the best of visual merchandising, immersive entertainment and retail theatre, they have created a window shopping experience no one has ever seen before. Like, it's a pretty compelling offering. Matched to a pretty compelling revenue stream and business model. They also have an interesting value delivery. So Showfields use a value discipline known as performance superiority. And what that means is the way that they deliver the value of that offering and of that unique business is also unique. Um, and it means that they deliver it through something where they build a reputation for continuing to deliver creativity and innovation. So all performance superiority businesses deliver new ideas all the time. So as part of this model, the rooms change on a regular basis, so there's always something exciting and new to see, and it's just as much of a game changer as last time. Now, both of those things are really important for this type of value delivery. So there's always a reason for customers and brands to keep coming back. There's also interesting charisma. So the Showfields brand plays the interesting role of curator. Just like in an art exhibition, they do justice to their own magic and they shine a light on their exciting activations through the lens of the connoisseur. 
And if you look through their socials, um, there's a lot of content around, you know, hey, check out this latest um, artist. Her work is really beautiful. And they, they talk about it in a really curatorial way. And that's a really interesting brand proposition. So unlike any other retail experience before it, this is like walking into an Instagram activation or an art exhibition and they take that through all of their brand touch points. And that leads me to the interesting experience. So from the moment a customer walks in the door, they're transported to a crazy new world where every room is something completely unexpected um, and they get to experience the brand and a product range before they buy it. One really interesting thing to note is that Showfield's customers, when they buy products, they actually buy more than an average in-store experience as well. So it's just like hitting every single nail on the head in terms of being interesting and being effective at the same time. Um, and some of the rooms, they even have trained actors to bring a brand story to life with a narrative performance. In, um, and there's lots of interesting uses of technology. There's artist and brand collabs. And there's really beautifully crafted spaces. So this would be an awesome example of an interesting business and how that how that is brought to life. And it's really what what makes it attractive. Um, so this area of delight is one of the four key pillars that I use to really make sure that businesses are attracting their audiences. And as you can see, it's super powerful. Interesting businesses like House of Showfields often have very small beginnings. Um, it might be a test pop-up by someone that's got an awesome idea for an interesting business that maybe has a job as well that's kind of funding them to kick off their dream. So I just wanted you to know that no size prevents you from having an interesting business. The only thing that sets that apart is having a really good strategy.